I see Jesus as the product of a highly superstitious time. Uh, historically, you can say there was a Galilean prophet, Jesus of Nazareth, who proclaimed the kingdom of God. He was the, well, he, he was the second person of the eternal trinity, as Christians believe. In other words, he had two natures. He had a human nature and a divine nature. A Jewish prophet uh, in the line of the Old Testament prophets. I think he, he thought himself to be God's special envoy, God's anointed one, God's Messiah. Who knows what is historically sound? And uh, my uh, opinion is that Jesus probably did not exist as a historical character. From my perspective, it would be more, who is Jesus? Because of course I believe that he has been raised and so he's alive. People have seen these visions of him and you've got to explain it somehow. The account is an eyewitness and reliable because it includes the description of Jesus being impaled or stabbed with a spear, the, the, the description of water spilling out. He says that was been relatively unknown. That's how he was originally uh, conceived and that the idea of him being a preacher running around Galilee was invented later. We've gone over the Gospels with the kind of skepticism that entertained the possibility, which deserves to be entertained, that everything messianic in character comes from the later church. I think the historical Jesus had planned to go to the temple. He started violence, then the angels would come through and the Messiah would come and he would kind of force God's hand. The critics of Christianity from the very beginning never once questioned the existence of Jesus. Nobody ever questions his existence until the end of the 18th century. Jesus says, why are you telling these people this? Because none of it's true. I didn't go to the cross. I went on my happy way. And he said, because they don't need you. They need the Jesus I'm talking about. Well, where do, you, where do you stand? Where do I stand? Yeah. I don't know. Good call.